Darren, is uh, a disappointing result, obviously, last weekend. Um, how have you sort of reflected on that this week? Um, <clears throat> angrily. Um, yeah, we, we're disappointed that... I think you always get even more disappointed when... not saying we should have, but could have... Um, changed the, the, the outcome of the game. Um, and we were disappointed with lots of aspects of our play... Um, especially second half where we really had the opportunity to take hold of the game offensively and um, and, and sort of impose ourselves really on Maidenhead. And, and I've, I think I've said this several times, right? I think that attacking part of our game will be the last piece of our jigsaw and I think that will take longer. Um, at the moment we're, we're probably quite a, f uh, a lot further advanced than I thought we would be at this stage defensively in our organisation, tactical organisation, uh, without the ball. But yeah, we, we definitely need to improve offensively. And in terms of the squad, what are we looking like in terms of fitness? I know there's players like Reese not quite back last week. What, what's he looking like? No, I think we've got a clean bill of health aside from one who's ill. Um, that's uh, that's been poorly this week. That uh, will will remain. Uh, remain nameless uh, for now but he yeah, he won't be available until next week um, but apart from that uh, Gregor Cox has come through um, and Sid Nelson is getting closer and closer and uh, Sawyer on more than Saturday obviously a very strong side um, how do you view them and, and what sort of challenge will they be well they you know like we speak a lot very very well coached and managed with Neil, and uh, I know Neil a long time now, and as good as they come. Um, and they've got that lovely balance now of um, good recruitment in the summer on top of a consistent base over the last sort of 12, 14 months. Um, and they've done really well. And one of the hardest things to do when you've had a good season, they did have a very good season last year, it's hard to grow that and meet the expectation that's now been born out of that good season. And um, I think that uh, Neil has done that, managed that brilliantly. And um, again, it just goes to show the calibre of coaching and management in this, in this league. Um, and they're a very good side, very good side. They scored lots and lots of goals, they played good football. Um, uh, and they're, you know they're going to be well placed and well positioned, with, you know, with with all the other bits that need to come along with it, uh, come the end of the season. But you know we have we have a lot of be belief in ourselves here, and we have a lot of belief in our character and our resilience. Um, and I think Neil will probably know that as well, because we know, like I said, we've known each other a long time. So I think the these were. Two really boring games last year for my team, my old club and, and, and Solio when we played against each other, was two nil-nils. But I can't see this one being like that at all. I can see this being quite a, uh, a basketball type game, end-to-end, -end, quite flowing, um, lots of counter-attacking. And it will be a very, very good test for us, it'll be a really good test for us. We, we obviously know that right here, right now, our record at home is a lot stronger than it is away. And we have a lot of belief with our supporters behind us that we can um, that we can win games. Yeah, just finally, obviously, you're touching it there. How important will will it be having our support behind us? Well, it seems at the moment that this that they're the most important thing. Them in numbers here, as Will did the most points. But the most important thing for me is that the players have probably put in the key performances here, um, and that must mean that they feel, you know obliged and invigorated to perform in that way with that intensity with that power um than maybe what we have done away so i think i think the woking fans need to just travel two thousand of them to all the away games as well and we might we might start returning there but uh, no look we've had some good performances here we've had some big wins against some big clubs and you know uh, this is this is one of the te uh, toughest tests we've had so far yeah cheers darren we'll see you on saturday thank you